Hey, slow down, Clementine. What are you doing? Where can I? I don't know. The steps look weird. Clementine, there's zombies around here. We need to be careful. Are those actual people? Are those are like. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Hey guys, um, you guys are regular people. Hey Clementine, come with me, thank you. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yeah, Clementine, I won't let you just stay alone. I got you. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Give us the chomp. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, man, we need some help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... I'm just some guy. Just some guy. Nobody Some worry about guy? it. Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Right, let's push this car. Seriously, let's push this car. Yeah, I thought my leg was hurt. Super leg muscle man. Come on, push it, push it. Push the car, push the car. Yes, Clementine, help. Thank you, Clementine, you watch. I know you got little girly arms. Uh, you volunteered to hop in the back? You a brave man. I would have been like, I'm in the front. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Hey, just some guy. Call me Merc Man. That's the people call me where I come from. Awesome. I feel safer already, honestly. But now I should meet their mom and dad, and they like. Zombies! Hey, you keep your eyes on the road. Last time I was in the car, stupid was not looking at anything. Trying to tell me stories. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. 
I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. That was the most awkward hug between them two ever. Go back and check that hug out. It was just weird. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Uh, could have been worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Home. Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Hey, chill out with that language. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I watched a man let himself get run over without blinking an eye. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay. Hey, man, I'm yeah, scared Clementine that. like that. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. I know. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Jump off, girl. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Hey. Just said it a little nicer. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. 
Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> yeah, he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Mm. I'll ask the girl if she's okay. Like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Alright. Well, you be safe. I'm gonna go help the nice man with the car so we can get this going. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Okay, let's go check on everybody. This farm just got much bigger. Let's talk to the little dumb kid, Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Oh, he's so innocent. Yet so you know how dumb. to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Oh, see, I thought I just wanted to hammer some. You got me wanting to saw stuff. Come on. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. No, oh, any questions, man? Just, just, just yell. I'll be over here. You got the, the most intelligent worker in the in the history of workers with you. When your dad call you dumb, then you know you kind of dumb. Okay. It's extremely hard to walk in this game, I'm going to be honest. There it is. Much better. Any help, hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? 
I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? How's your son doing? So smart. Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. What's your so plan, what's your man? Family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Kenny, man, I'm just letting you know. If crap hit the fan, that boat may not be where you left it. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not saying I will take it. I'm just saying it may disappear. Basically, thanks for healing my bandages, old man. Healing my bandages, healing my leg. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was <laughs> a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Parents my are parents making. are in making with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What, what is, is it? it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Go! I'll get my gun! Drove over his leg and grabbed a kid. No, let me help. My leg is stuck. Ah, oh, come on, duck. God, I gotta save the boy. He's just innocent. Uh, come on, grab him. You let him pull him off. All right. Pull it off. Please. So you just gonna run away? Oh no! Let me help him. Oh no, he bit him! No, I was gonna pull the tractor off. Sorry. Your son is alive. 
You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! I was worried about the little boy. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Got that ride to make it if you want it. Come on, Clemens. I understand why he's upset.